hello hello welcome welcome to day 331 of our bible in a year challenge my name is sandra i'm going to be your host for today welcome we are committed to reading our bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time yes you heard me right just less than 20 minutes daily read time please kindly go ahead right now subscribe to my youtube channel Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Day 331, November 27th, 2022. 365 days Bible reading, Old Testament, Daniel 2, 24 to 49, Daniel 3, 1 to 12, New Testament, 2 Peter 1, Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 135, verse 1 to 12. Old Testament NIV version, Daniel 2, verse 24 to 49. Daniel interprets the dream. Then Daniel went to the Arioch, whom the king had appointed to execute the wise men of Babylon and said to him, Do not execute the wise men of Babylon. Take me to the king and I will interpret his dream for him. Arioch took Daniel to the king at once and said, I have found a man among the exiles of Judah who can tell the king what his dream means. The king asked Daniel, also called Belteshazzar, Are you able to tell me what I saw in my dream and interpret it? Daniel replied, No wise man, enchanter, magician, or diviner can explain to the king the mystery he has asked about. But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries. He has shown King Nebuchadnezzar what will happen in days to come. Your dream and the visions that passed through your mind as you were lying in bed are these. As your majesty was lying there, your mind turned to, the, to things to come and the revealer of mysteries showed you what is going to happen. As for me, this mystery has been revealed to me, not because I have great wisdom than anyone else alive, but so that your majesty may know the interpretation and that you may understand what went through your mind. Your majesty looked and through, and there before you stood a large statue, an enormous dazzling statue, awesome in appearance. The head of the statue was made of pure gold, its chest and arms of silver, its belly and thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet partly of iron and partly of baked clay. While you were watching, a rock was cut out, but not by human hands. It struck the statue of its feet of iron and clay and smashed them. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver and the gold were all broken to pieces and became like chaff on a threshing floor. In the summer, the wind swept them away without leaving a trace. This was the dream, and now we will interpret it to the king. Your majesty, you are the king of kings. The God of heaven has given you dominion and power and might and glory. In your hands, he has placed all my, mankind and the beasts of the field and the birds in the sky. Wherever they live, he has made you ruler over them all. You are that head of gold. After you, another kingdom will arise inferior to yours. Next, a third kingdom, one of bronze, will rule over the whole earth. Finally, there will be a fourth kingdom, strong as iron, for iron breaks and smashes everything. And as iron breaks things to pieces, so it will crush and break all the others. Just as you saw that, saw that the feet and toes were partly of big clay and partly of iron, so this will be a divided kingdom, yet it will have some of the strength of iron in it, even as you saw iron mixed with clay. As the toes were partly iron and partly clay, so this kingdom will be partly strong and partly brittle. And just as you saw the iron mixed with baked clay, so the people will be a mixture and will not remain united any more than iron mixes with clay. But the rock that struck the statue became a huge mountain and filled the whole earth. In the time of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed, nor will it be left to, end, to another people. 
It will crush all those kingdoms and bring them to an end, but it will itself endure forever. This is the meaning of the vision of the rock cut out of a mountain, but not by human hands. A rock that break, that broke the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver, and the gold to pieces. The great God has shown the king what will take place in the future. The dream is true and its interpretation is trustworthy. Then King Nebuchadnezzar fell prostrate before Daniel and paid him honor and ordered that an offering and incense be brought, be presented to him. The king said to Daniel, Surely your God is the God of gods and the Lord of kings and a revealer of mysteries, for you were able to reveal this mystery. Then the king placed Daniel in a high position and lavished many gifts on him. He made him ruler over the entire province of Babylon and placed him in charge of all its wise men. Moreover, at Daniel's request, the king appointed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego administrators over the province of Babylon, while Daniel himself remained at the royal court. Daniel 3 verse 1 to 12, the image of gold and the blazing furnace. King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold 60 cubits high and 6 cubits wide and set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. He then summoned the satraps, prefects, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the other of provincial officials to come to the dedication of the image he had set up. So the satraps, prefects, governors, ad advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the other provincial officials assembled for the dedication of the image that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And they stood before it. Then the herald loudly proclaimed, Nations and peoples of every language, this is what you are commanded to do. As soon as you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music, you must fall down and worship the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship will immediately be thrown into a blazing furnace. Therefore, as soon as they hear, as they heard the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lar, harp, and all kinds of music, all the nations and peoples of every language fell down and worshipped the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. At this time, some astrologers came forward and denounced the Jews. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, May the king live forever. Your majesty has issued a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music must fall down and worship the image of gold. And that whoever does not fall down and worship will be thrown into a blazing furnace. But there are some Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who pay no attention to you, your majesty. They neither serve your gods nor worship the image of gold you have set up. New Testament NIV Version Second Peter 1 verse 1 to 21 Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who through the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ have received the faith as precious as ours, grace and peace be yours in abundance, through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, confirming one's calling and election. As divine power, his divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through this, he has given us his very great and precious promises so that through them you may participate in the divine nature, having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness mutual affection, and to mutual affection love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But whoever does not have them 
is nearsighted and blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their past sins. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election. For if you do these things, you will never stumble, and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Prophecy of Scripture. So, I will always remind you of these things, even though you know them, and are firmly established in the truth you now have. I think it is right to refresh your memory as long as I live in the tents of this body, because I know that I will soon be put I will soon put it aside, as our Lord Jesus Christ had made clear to me. And I will make every effort to see that after my departure you will always be able to remember these things, for we did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. He re received honor and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory, saying, This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice that came from heaven when we were with him on the sacred mountain. We also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable and you will do well to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy or scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. For prophecy never had its origin in the human will, but prophets Though humans spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 135, verse 1 to 12. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, you servants of the Lord. You will minister in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praise to his name, for that is pleasant. For the Lord has chosen Jacob to be his own, Israel to be his treasured possession. I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is greater than all gods. The Lord does whatever pleases him, in the heavens and on the earth, in the seas and all their depths. He makes clouds rise from the ends of the earth. He sends lightning with the rain, with the rain and brings out the wind from his storehouses. He struck down the firstborn of Egypt, the firstborn of people and animals. He sent his signs and wonders into your midst, Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants. He struck down many nations and killed mighty kings, Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, king of Bashan, and all the kings of Canaan. And he gave their lands as an inheritance, an inheritance to his people, Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, if you are here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me, believing in your heart every single word you say. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said this prayer, we are so excited to welcome you into God's family. Kindly go ahead right now, send us an email, let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. The email address is Salvation in Christ 101 at gmail.com. That is salvation in Christ 101 at gmail.com. God bless you. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aroleba. Thank you for being here today. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.